Hi guys, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for keeping me company on my channel. Guys, today I would like to review the Fashion Fair Skin Flex Stick Foundation. Also, I have some other new products that I have been using. I have a lipstick from Dolce & Gabbana, also the Dolce & Gabbana concealer. Also guys, I would like to take this opportunity to announce my next giveaway. I will be giving away a Chanel Le Beige Oversize Healthy Glow Sun Kiss Powder. I will be giving this away in whatever shade that the winner wishes. Anyway guys, stay tuned and the review of the Fashion Fair Stick Foundation is coming right up. I will be doing a full day test of this, so here we go. Okay guys, so I already went ahead and I prepped my skin with the Pat McGrath Divine Skin Rose 001 The Essence. I am really loving this product underneath of foundation. It moisturizes quite good. It leaves a very nice finish on the skin and it is not too shiny. Also, I have not experienced any kind of irritation with it so I am using it quite a lot at the moment. This is the way the Fashion Fair Stick Foundation looks. This is not sold in Europe so I chose uh, a color online based on the recommendations of the Fashion Fair uh, website. Actually my husband brought this back for me some time ago when he was visiting in the US, actually he had quite a bit of problems to find it because they didn't have it at the Sephora at Palm Springs, which is where he was. So he had to go to San Diego. But this is Caramel Fresh. This is the way the packaging looks. And I did play around with this a bit but this is the color. I think this should be okay for my skin tone. Yeah. This is a swatch of the stick foundation in Caramel Fresh. It is very creamy and I think the color is just about perfect. It feels powdery smooth on the skin. I hope I get the same effect on my face. I am just reading from the website. It says it should deliver buildable coverage with a natural semi-matte finish. It is flexible and crease resistant pigments blurs, pores, and fine lines. It further says that this foundation is supposed to help with the uh, uneven skin tones and provide a smoother and brighter complexion. And the breathable powder formula is supposed to help the skin to look fresh all day long. This comes in 9 grams or 32 ounces and it is costing $37. This is not sold in Europe so I do not have a euro price for this. Being that this is a stick foundation, I will go ahead and apply this with my uh, Morphe foundation brush. This is the M39. This brush is a bit denser, so I think in terms of application, it should do fine. I just got a keratin treatment, so my hair is very dead and dull, so please don't pay attention. I was way overdue. I canceled my appointment so many times because work was such hell. Lately, I was never able to make my appointments. So finally this week, I was able to go in. This is the way Caramel Fresh looks 
on my skin. Hmm. Actually, I could have used a bit more um, golden pigment in here. It is a bit cool on my skin. I have not worked it in, but we'll see. It is applying quite smoothly. Guys, this is one side with the foundation and the other side without. I will now apply to the entire face. So far it is feeling quite smooth. The coverage, it's not kicked on. do not use stick foundations very often so at the moment this is the only one that I do have. It's blending quite nicely. This is one application with the foundation. It's feeling very light and airy on the skin. I expected it to feel maybe a bit more pasty, but the powder formula, it is quite comfortable. The Caramel Fresh shade is okay. It's quite good on my skin tone. When I applied it, it looked like it may pull a bit to olive but after having worked it into my skin it is actually a very good shade match. I will go ahead and just do some spot correcting around the mouth where I do have some hyperpigmentation and then I will apply concealer. Today I am using my Dolce & Gabbana Millennial Skin concealer. Okay, I have gone ahead and I added a bit more around the mouth area. It blended just as effortlessly as the first application. I am really loving this concealer from Dolce & Gabbana. It's really great and it applies like a dream. So far so good with the Fashion Fair Skin Flex Stick foundation. Now it's time for bronzer and finishing powder. Guys, I wanted to take the chance to announce that I am going to do a giveaway with the Chanel Le Beige Oversize Healthy Glow Sun Kissed powder. I thought this would be a nice giveaway for you guys because it is not available in all countries. In order to win guys, all you have to do is to be subscribed to my channel where I can see you and also follow me on Instagram Wendy Wise Beauty. When I reviewed this powder last week, I was neutral about it and I must be honest, this powder has grown on me. I think it makes a difference, the application method. And this powder, I find it applies much better with a, a fluffy brush. I will go ahead and use this to warm up my skin today. I don't have a Fashion Fair powder, so I will use the Chanel Oversized Healthy Glow Sun Kissed Powder in Sun Bath Deep. this 
powder it's costing 74 75 euros as you guys know i am completely addicted and obsessed with bronzer i try every single one i can get my hands on i am always chasing this sun-kissed bronze glow it's my obsession for blush today i will be using by terry and i have this in number three beach bomb oh this is heavily pigmented so i have to be careful these are the densilis blushes mm, they're so nice For lipstick, I have a new lipstick from Dolce & Gabbana that I'm dying to try. This is the Dolce lipstick. I have this in the color Dolce Desire. Mm. This is the completed look with the Fashion Fair Stick Foundation. It is now 1 p.m here i am going to wear this for the next seven to eight hours and at the end of the day i will come back and let you see how i got on with this foundation well see you guys in a few hours and bye for now ciao hi guys i am back it is now 907 I applied this foundation I believe it was 105 not applied when I was finished with the application it was 105 so I have had this foundation on for about eight hours I mean I have gone outside I went for a walk I have also had a dinner I have not freshened up in any way I have not added powder so this is the way the foundation looks after eight hours with no touch-up by looking in the mirror the foundation still looks very nice I do have oiliness in the t-zone on my nose but this is not unusual for me and actually considering I have not powdered today it is not a lot of excess oil underneath this foundation I am wearing the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Essence and this is it I did not add any kind of other moisturizer all in all the foundation looks good i can bring you in a bit closer it has not settled in my pores after about four and a half hours i did see a small amount of breakage in my problem area but it has not gotten worse i will just go ahead and add some powder as a touch-up so you can see how this foundation behaves after eight hours with a bit of primping i mean during a normal day when i'm wearing foundation i would most likely touch up after four hours and maybe after six hours but this is how the foundation is looking after eight hours having added powder guys i am really happy with this one i am surprised by this i have no irritation on my skin i must be honest in the past i did not use fashion fair cosmetics because it always irritated my skin i was very happy to see on the website that they have a new formula and it is clean cosmetics 
I have not experienced any irritation with this one. My skin is looking very nice and it is the first time I am wearing this for a full day, but based on the eight hour test, I do like this very much and I will try the cream foundation and maybe the powder and some of the lipsticks. This was really a positive experience. Well guys, this is it for this one day test. I will not drag this out much longer. Thanks for watching. Hey, please don't forget I have a giveaway going for the Chanel XXL Healthy Glow Sun Kiss Powder. So please check out this video on my website and I hope you will enter the giveaway. Take care, choose, bye bye, and see you guys again soon on my channel.